Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin and this video is the second video in the series of plants that have thrived in passive hydroponics. In the first video, I talked about syngoniums. If you haven't seen it, please go check it out. But this video is going to talk about begonias. So I do have to start off by saying I don't have a lot. I only have two begonias, but they have just grown so much and you'll see in a moment like they're gigantic now. So the first begonia I'm going to talk about is the begonia maculata ydi. So this plant is just going off. <laughs> this plant was so hard for me in soil. I just the soil kept drying out and it was just so annoying and I almost threw it out but I didn't. I'll put it put in a picture here actually just to the side. This picture is from I think it was April. This is when I just took it out of the soil and put it in Passive Hydro. But you could see the bottoms of each of the leaves. I know there's only four of them. They're crispy. <laughs> if you look at the picture you can see that it's like one stalk. Um, it grew so fast I had to chop and prop essentially and I mean this plant now has I think three um, main stalks and I'm probably gonna have to chop it up again because it's it's getting a little big for the pot and a little too leggy right now so we'll do that later. And the second one this one grew so large this is the begonia sophia and I guess I'll just do a little rotation here. But like, look at these leaves. What is going on? Like I can't even sh showcase this plant like well enough. I'll plug a picture of, um, it's not when I transitioned it, it's when it kind of, uh, the roots kind of acclimated to passive hydroponics. You could see there's only two leaves <laughs> and one stalk and um, yeah, I think that was in May. Correct me if I'm wrong, future Kevin. But now, like you could see, like this tall stalk over here, it popped out of nowhere. That's not a propagation. It just came out of the LECA, probably from the main uh, stem. Um, there's two main stems over here that kind of went off of just one of them. So, I mean, that just gave me this beautiful begonia and like I just cannot believe how large this, this has grown because I mean look at the last picture I'll give you another look look at how small this plant is it's crazy again I know I only showed you two plants so obviously this experiment or this conclusion I've made about begonias loving passive hydroponics is a bit flawed but I just like I had them both in soil and maybe it's because I didn't water them often but they did not look happy and now they're just like so massive like let me just hold both of them together like the foliage oh they're so pretty I, I can't get over it look at these <laughs> Anyhow, I want to thank you guys for watching till the end and this was the second video in a I don't know how many part series of plants that love passive hydro. Again guys, if you liked this video, please let me know and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and I guess that's it. Bye!